Andy Mogul. Hey guys, Zach Finfrock here for BFX. On today's episode, a car mounted rocket launcher. Alright, Puppet Zack, you ready for this bit? Earthquake! That was weird, I just... Wait, why, why is it on the awesome face? It's not supposed to happen. It's a, it's a portal! It's, must be some alternate dimension where we planned ahead and actually built a good studio for the show. Cool. So, car mounted rocket launcher. They're seen in a lot of action movies, most notably the James Bond flicks. Here's a great example of how the pros did it in one of the movies. The effect isn't just in James Bond movies though. Here it is in the 1989 Batman flick. Hey Bubba Zack, why don't you spin our new wheel to see how much money we're gonna spend on these rockets. Already on it. Magnets. A light switch, red cabinet knobs, a light switch panel, a painter's tray, black poster board, party hats, we only used four, spray paint, hot glue, razor pens, and Dremel. This build's difficulty level is three. Simple time lapse, woo! First was the control panel. I took apart the light switch and took out all the inner workings so it was lighter and easier to glue. Then I cut a wedge shape out of black poster board to give the switch panel a lift up. After gluing it in, I glued a small strip of poster board across the two outlet openings for the knobs to be glued onto. Next, I spray painted it all black and the light switch red, then glued it all together. Now on to the rocket launcher itself. I took the painter's tray and cut off the legs with my Dremel. Then I took a spray paint can lid and used it as a guide for my rocket pods. I cut out four strips of black poster board and made them the size of the spray paint lid. Then I cut a large piece of black poster board for the bottom base of the rocket launcher, along with a smaller piece for the rocket pods to fasten onto. Next, after painting the party hats red, I cut them to size to fit inside the pods. These are our rockets. Don't worry about their size. They're meant to be filmed at an angle where you won't be able to see the entire rocket. After gluing the pods to the base strip, I glued the rocket ends into the pods. As you can see, the base piece is folded up so the rockets themselves fall down with the help of gravity. It helps to add a couple of the magnets to the bottom of the pods so not only do they fall down faster from the weight, but the magnets will stick to your car. The final step is to fasten the base piece to the painter's tray and add the rest of the magnets to the base so it all sticks to your car. The best way to actually use this prop is take a fishing line or floss tied to the top of the box itself, then run the line really far to the back of the car. Then when you get a nice wide shot, you have someone pull it so it slowly opens. Now although this is made for your car and it's supposed to look really cool when you're driving around doing all your action stuff, be really careful with it because this is a great way to become popular with the law enforcement. saw was the trailer to our test film. You're gonna have to tune in tomorrow to check it out. Trust me, it's pretty epic. Let me know what you think about this episode, about the build, about our new studio 
in the comments below. And uh, that's it. So I'll see you next week. <laughs>